Hey guys, it's Bob. Welcome to the blog. Thanks for watching. Hey, uh, today I'm going to try to rope and tie down a steer by myself like I would in the pasture if I was trying to doctor him. Um, this is a pretty gentle way. A guy named Jack McCumber who sold me this horse um, taught me how to do this. And uh, we're here at the indoor barn at the Barnes Ranch, Jeff and Jerry Barnes. So if, uh, if you're interested in what they got going on, it's uh, www.barnesranch.com. Let's see if I can get this steer roped and uh, we'll see if we can make this work. Okay. Okay guys, we uh, found out we had a little audio problem, so uh, I'm going to be giving a little bit of running commentary in a voiceover fashion here. So I'm just going up to the steer. Uh, I'm just going to track him around for a couple circles. Um, just kind of make sure my horse is working like I want him to, make sure he's rating like he should, and uh, make sure when I throw my rope, um, he's not going to duck off or something stupid like that. So just kind of getting comfortable, getting uh, used to what the steer is going to do. As you can see, he's going to his buddy there every time around, but uh, uh, here we go. Okay, there, got him roped, um, dallied up. And the next step is to try to get the rope clear around the steer. Um, let me try to explain that a little more clearly. Um, you want the rope to go on the steer's right side, around, behind his back legs, and one key is to try to get it to stay above his hocks, kind of have it hang on his hocks. Now you can see I'm about to get that done. As I go around, see I finally kind of bro got him broke down. He's standing there still. Okay, the rope's above the steer's hocks right there. I got him to stand. The next point, or the next thing I'm trying to get him to do is step over the rope with his front feet, which he just did, and then I get tight. I basically have his back feet healed at this point and they're, they're, the rope's wrapped all the way around his back feet. Now I'm just dragging him off, trying to get him to lay down. This is, uh, as you can see, it's a real gentle and easy way to get a steer to lay down so you can do what you need to do on him. Um, it's not as fast as just throwing a trip and jerking a steer down, but it's easier on your horse and on the steer. Um, now this steer kind of fell down in a, in a ball. His, his legs are bunched up under his body. That's gonna make it basically impossible for me to tie his legs together so uh, I was going to try to roll him on his side, kind of um, tried to get him to pull over, but he's kind of stuck there. So what I have to do now is I have to get my rope up above his hip. And I'm still trying to do it without, without getting the rope up above his hip, and you can see it's not working. So um, now I'm trying to get the rope up above his hip, and I'm about to do it. I think I get it right there. Nope, came off. Okay, you'll see it right there. See, it's up above his hip there. Now it'll be easy to roll him right onto his side. If my horse would back up, come on, turkey. There you go, there you go. See now, now his legs are free and I can access his legs to tie him with my, with my uh, pig and string. Now I just get a little closer, make sure I still got him tight. And uh, then I tie off to my horn. I tie hard and fast. If that steer gets back up, my horse will work the rope just enough that I can tail that steer down and get him to lay back down. However, um, this steer doesn't get back up, thankfully, because it's a lot of work to tail him down. So I just grab my pig and string, and I ease up to him, because a lot of times when you first get onto the ground, they will spook. Wasn't quite comfortable with my knot, so I put another half hitch around it. That's all I'm doing there. But look how my horse works the rope. He just keeps it just tight enough. He's not like running backwards with it, but he just keeps it just tight enough that if things get hairy, um, I've got a chance to get that steer back down. Now I just ease up to him, I grab a horn, these roping steers, they can ho hook you, so I just grab a horn. And then uh, I just lean over, and uh, you can tie, you know, you can tie up two legs if you want, or you can tie up three legs, however you want to do it. Um, I try to tie up three together when I can, uh, just because it decreases the mobility the steer can have. Um, and see my horse is still still keeping the rope just tight enough that if something happens he'll be able to react to it. Okay, so I've got my uh, I've got my pig and string around that steer's front leg. Now I'm just going to step over and work my way back. See when he fights, I've got that front leg tied up so I can keep him from getting up. And then I just uh, I just take a few wraps. I take I usually take two or three wraps, and then start uh, doing half hitches. And then I do a final half hitch around one leg, just for safety's sake. But now, he is tied up good. He is not going anywhere. 
And I can now take my catch rope off and loosen the rope around his neck. And he basically just has to lay there. This keeps him laying there. Um, he may not be comfortable, but he's not in any pain. As you can see here in a minute, he fights me pretty good. I sometimes leave the catch rope just around their neck in case they do fight. You can uh, pull them back over. Um, but before you untie him, you do need to take the catch rope off the neck. <laughs> there you can see how he fought and got around me. But uh, anyway, um, I take the catch rope off his neck so when he gets up, I don't have him caught anymore since I'm untied. And I can do any doctor I need to. Uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching.